Good morning, and what a beautiful rainy day we have here. You know what? Uh, maybe we should clear this rain, and then I'll get back with you in just a few moments. Sound good? Perfect. Also, welcome in. Now, before we get too far, let's take a look at all the items that I mined. 202,000... 536 dirt, 108, 769 grass, and 6,227 path blocks. That is a grand total of 317,532 blocks. Now, yes, like I said, I did mine a couple of those beforehand, but we're just going with uh, that number because that's what makes sense. Now, in today's episode, I'm headed back into the nether because I want to find a nether fortress and I want to get some nether wart because I want to start doing some potion brewing so I can get myself set up with a better villager trading hall. All right, so we're going to start around this level because this is level 75. We've got the forest there. I'm going to pick up some items that I want to have, like the nyliums or whatever these are called down here. And we're just going to, we're going to wander around the nether for a bit and we're going to see what kind of fun stuff we can find now i am a lot more geared up than i was last time the armor is better i increased my tools i have a better bow so these guys shouldn't be too big of an issue for us two shot so let's see if i can find myself a fortress now i do need to make sure that i'm leaving myself a path so let's do this The problem with a lot of this spawn that I have is the fact that it's just so hard to see. So as I go around, I'm going to be clearing up some area. What do we have up there? We got another piglin up there. Okay, you're coming down to get me. He's a tough guy, but we took care of him. You know, and while I'm here, I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of piglin bartering if we can get a couple of these guys uh, together in a hole. All right, looks like I found my very first nether fortress. Let's see if I can find an easy path over there. We might just dig ourselves a bit of a hole to get there. Got my very first bits of nether wart here. Challenge one, done. Now if we get ourselves some blaze powder. And we got it. I don't have looting, so that's the big worry here is that it's I'm not gonna get stuff very easily because of with no looting.
that a bastion right there? Let's go take a look. I didn't expect to get both a bastion and another fortress. Thing. Oh God. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. Everything's fine. All right, now I'm back from the nether and we did see that bastion, but before we go to the bastion, I thought it might be a good idea to make some potions of fire resistance. Let me go get some water in my bottles here. All right, now to make a potion of fire resistance, we're gonna throw three water bottles in there. We need a blaze powder. We're gonna make ourselves an awkward potion first with a nether wart, and then we throw ourselves a magma cream in there. And we've got a potion of fire resistance. Now this is for three minutes. I would like that to be a little bit longer. So we're going to put some redstone in there and make that just a tad bit longer. And now we've got three eight minute potions of fire resistance. That's going to treat us well when we're going in to fight with these piggies. Just in case they knock us off into some lava or in case we don't know what to do and I want to run away. I can just jump into some lava and drink that. I better grab some more blocks because I'm going to need those. All right, we're all set now. Let's get back into the nether, and let's go see if we can find this bastion again. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we saw it over in that direction. Let's see if I can just head right back over there, and we find it again. Looks like there it is. Um, Let's see, how do I want to get over there? I think the best move would be... Let's just dig up into the ceiling here, into the roof, and uh, we'll we'll go across that way and then come down. Okay, we didn't quite make it high enough. I don't, I don't think I'm brave enough to bridge, so we're gonna go up just a little bit higher. All right, so we're here at the bastion. I am taking this slow and steady. Um, I'm not going to do anything too crazy because those piglin brutes will tear me up in a heartbeat. But I brought some lava along, so that should help me out. And that's how you kill them without pissing anybody off. I'm just going to go slowly around this whole thing. Uh before I really start getting inside of it. Ooh, a lodestone. I'll take it. Okay, just here in regular piglins. I haven't heard too many brutes. I just heard that one, and we killed him. We might have gotten lucky and just... Uh, very few brutes to deal with. We'll go down there later. Just a bunch of piglins. Let's um take care of these guys. Just so I don't have to worry about anything. Sorry. Okay, that's that area down below. Let's go through here. Collect some of this glowstone, because I could always use glowstone. Ooh. Okay. All right, so now we're pretty well... Okay, there's a brute right there. So let's get our lava bucket out. And this is the easiest way to do these. I know it's not terribly exciting, but just pour some lava down. That should take care of most everything. Um, you can tick them off by getting some of this. All right, they shouldn't have a path up here now. All right, let's loot the thing. Crying obsidian. Ancient Deborah. Ooh, Soul Speed 2 boots. That's not too bad. Get out of there. Soul Speed 3. Maybe I'll hold on to those. I can always come back. And I do like this Gilded Blackstone. So let's take some of that. We'll leave the Nether Gold here. We don't really need the Nether Gold. Okay, that seems like it's most of this area. Let's just get all this Gilded Blackstone while we can. All right, well, I think that I've looted this thing well enough, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I got incredibly lucky. There were not a lot of piglin brutes, and so, yeah, I didn't really have to deal with them too much. So, yeah, that was our first bastion. Only ran into a couple of piglin brutes. Hey, I got some cool stuff, though. I got a lodestone. That's going to help. So now I know how to get right back to my base if I want to 
use that either for the nether or I could use it for my home base. But let's get back into the overworld and see all the goodies that we found. Okay, I'd have to say that's a pretty successful trip to the nether. I did find one ancient debris. You know, this is the first snout banner pattern that I think I've ever found, which is awesome. And then a lodestone. Love that. I've got myself some blaze rods so we can do lots of potions and some soul speed three boots. Those might come in handy. All right, now that the exploration phase of our nether trip is done, I want to move on to the building phase. Now, I'm going to do something that I don't think I've ever done in a single player world, and that's actually build a nether hub or a set of tunnels, passages to travel wherever I need in the nether. And so we're going to go start that hub. We're going to dig ourselves a path all the way to that nether fortress, and maybe we'll have some fun while we're there. Let's find out. All right, so I got the coordinates that I'm wanting to look for. I went up to Y115. That way I can make this a little taller if I want. And I'm going to head straight towards that nether fortress because I really would like to have a nice, safe, quick, easy way to access our nether fortress. All right, now that I have safe passage all the way to my nether fortress, I'm going to get started on another farm, which is gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna provide us with excellent fuel and some XP. That's right, we're doing a blaze farm. Let's jump right into that. All right, now this design is one by Shulkercraft. I went ahead and lit up around the spawner here, and the first step I need to do is go down seven blocks. So I've already gone down two, that's three, four, five, six, and, you know, stand on two blocks. Make sure you're not digging straight down just in case. Now from here, I need to dig out a 13 by 13 area. So that means I need to go six out on each side. All right, so I'm out of arrows. Um, the lighting didn't really do that great, but I went ahead and took a fire resist potion. So we should be fine. Uh, so right now I've got my drop shoot. I need to go out another three on each of these sides and connect this up. This is kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Dangerous? Also a little nerve wracking because these guys, when I didn't have the potion, they were hitting me pretty hard and it was rather annoying. All right, now that I've got that platform done, you wanna make sure that the spawner is exactly six blocks above your glass platform here. And then you just can go ahead and put a border around it. And I'm gonna use blackstone because I think uh, blackstone is beautiful and on the corners I think I'm gonna use the chiseled blackstone because that's got a fun little face on it so we're we're gonna make this a little nice to look at okay now comes the fun part we are gonna build up by 10 blocks and we're gonna do this on all sides now I'm gonna use these guys uh, a little bit right here we'll go up two with there that's two blocks three four five six seven eight and then we'll do two more like this all right and we're gonna do this around the whole sides i'm gonna do black stone on the corners and then i'm gonna fill everything in with glass and we'll do black stone around the top too so let's just drop down here and let's start filling in all of this all right now that i have my box all done before i really get into this let's talk about how i did not do that right Thank goodness I had those fire potions because these guys were driving me nuts. We've got to work on the killing chamber here. Let's go ahead and grab this other potion and have it on our hot bar just in case. So let's come down here. Our killing chamber is going to be right beneath us. It's going to be right up here. Yeah, so that's the killing chamber right here. This one, two, up. Uh, well, see, that's, that's kind of how that's going to work. These guys are just going to fall right down here. These four blocks here, let's just open up a space, and then I'm going to work on maybe designing this a little nicer later. All right, that's all set up. Now let's get a collection method set up. So let's do chest, say right here, and then we'll go hoppers running into those. Those should be directly underneath our drop chamber. Yep, and now we'll put some slabs there. 
and then let's go ahead and fill in this area. And last but not least, I need to put some trap doors right there so those guys can't get me. All right, let's go up. I need to do a couple more things. I need to go grab some lava. I need to remove all those light sources up there. And then this farm is pretty well in the book. So let me run down and grab some lava just real quick. Now, seeing as there's a lot of blaze in here, I'm going to take this potion. I'm going to add some vines to my drop chute there. And then I'll go around to the corners and I'll put lava everywhere. Of course, after I get rid of uh, those blocks right up there. So let's take this potion and then we're just going to break right in and we're going to start killing some of these guys so they don't uh, destroy me. And there's fire everywhere. We don't have to worry about the fire so much. It's more there. It's more the, the thorns that they have. So that's all done. Now I just have to go around to each corner and put in some lava. Grab your lava, set it right there, and then put that back. And now this is going to push all those blaze right into the center for us. And now this is our farm working right here. Now if I had looting, this would be a little bit better, but now you can just stand here. I need sweeping edge too. But this is going to be a nice XP and blaze farm for me. I'm going to be able to get all the furnace fuel that I need. 30 blaze rods for that one little moment there. Not half bad. All right, everybody, here's the plan. I went and enchanted some tools to get myself down to zero levels. I've got a new sword that's got looting, sweeping edge, the sharpness, and all the good stuff. So I'm going to see exactly how well this farm does in an hour. I'm also going to spend some time over here mending all of the tools I have. So I'm going to spend one hour here. We're going to see how many blaze rods we get, how many levels we end up with after all of the tools are mended. So I'll be checking back with you in just a moment. All right, everybody, it has officially been one hour. Let's kill the rest of these here that are inside of the chamber, and then we'll see exactly how many blaze rods I got in an hour. All right, we'll call it good there. I'm sure more will drop down. Okay, okay, two more. That's it. Just these ones. And holy crap. All right, let's do some math. Take the 64, multiply it by the thing. You carry the one, divide by that. Uh-huh. All right, so we've got a total of 950 blaze rods in an hour. So I have to say this farm is working pretty well. And here's the design of the farm. We've got the white stained glass. We've got the black stone around the outside. So it's a pretty nice looking farm. But that's going to do it for me in today's episode. I had a blast hanging out here in the nether, getting all these blazes farmed up. I now have plenty of material to smelt with. Let's drop back down here and we'll kill some blazes. What do you say? But until next time, if you stuck around this long and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed. Until next week, you all have a wonderful wonderful day.